Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If you don't already know, Tacky Tuesday is where we go over short EMS cardiology lessons, usually in less than four to five minutes. And today we're going to be talking all about couplets. So first, let's start with the definition or just talk about what couplets actually are. To understand what couplets are, you have to understand what a premature ventricular contraction is. So first, let me say a premature ventricular contraction or a PVC is a heartbeat that fires too early from the bottom chambers of the heart, which is also known as the ventricles. So couplets are two premature ventricular contractions or complexes in a row that occur without any pause in between them. So let's talk about some of the couplet characteristics. Your rate is determined by your underlying rhythm and your regularity is as well. There are no P waves to a PVC, so there are no P waves to your couplet. And also there's no PR interval. If there's no P wave, there's not gonna be a PR interval. Your QRS complexes, obviously there's two of them and they are very wide. Some of the causes and risk factors can include hypoxia. Whenever you start seeing frequent PVCs or couplets is to throw this patient on oxygen. Heart disease or heart failure, a myocardial infarction, electrolyte imbalances, alcohol, tobacco stimulants, caffeine, all of those things can cause couplets or PVCs, sepsis, pain, chest trauma, hypovolemia, which is just blood loss or fluid loss, hyper or hypoglycemia, and thyroid abnormalities. Some of the signs and symptoms you may see with couplets are fluttering in the chest, maybe dizziness, a fainting spell, palpitations, chest pain, or shortness of breath. But it should be noted that some patients may be asymptomatic so they may not even know anything's going on. You may just be taking the vitals for a completely unrelated complaint and all of a sudden you notice this on your four lead or your 12 lead. Let's take a look at how it looks on a strip. All right, I'm pretty sure it's pretty obvious where the couplet is on this strip. As you can see, there is no pause in between the two PVCs and this is a really good example of a couplet. Now that we know what they are and what causes them, how do we as EMS professionals treat them out in the 911 setting? 12 lead, that's when we're going to figure out that they even have couplets. Getting a set of vitals, oxygen, your IV. If you are able to get a blood draw for the hospital, that always saves a little time for them. And treating your patient's complaints. So did they call because they have fluttering in the chest? Or is it just something that you found out afterwards and you want to search for underlying causes? So now that you know some of the causes and risk factors of couplets, you can see if, if your patient is suffering from any of this. It definitely isn't our job as EMS EMS professionals to diagnose, but we can get a great patient history and find out if maybe there's something in their history or something that's going on with them right now that's causing these PVCs. Next, you want to monitor them closely for deterioration and also report findings to your hospital. Remember that three PVCs in a row does count as a short run of VTAC. If you start to see triplets and beyond, then that's something that you definitely want to consider. The patient could become unstable and the patient could go into sustained ventricular tachycardia. And that's pretty much all that we can do out in the EMS field. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!